Hey guys, welcome to another Top Drives video, and today it's the first 10 races of UK Elite. Okay guys, so the first 10 races of the UK Elite Challenge. This is the second Elite Challenge to drop for the Old Guard Challenge. Um, and this one, I wouldn't say it's as hard as the USA one that was previously. Um, but again, it's having the right cars. Now, there's only really a few key cars, I think, that you realistically have to have. Um, there is the M100 Elan. Um, and I would say the RQ39 Elan as well, even though I've not used it in this challenge, uh, simply because um, I did something stupid with mine and I ended up selling it. So the, I haven't built another one quite yet, but I've managed to get through these first 10 races without it. Um, I'd say that the the Lotus Esprit, the RQ33, which used to be super rare, is also a pretty key car. Um, then you're going to want some standard tyre cars as well, because there is quite a bit of wet. But stuff like the, the Ford Fiesta, that's been pretty key. Um, the RQ44 Lotus, that's been pretty key. Um, and then just maybe one of the two of the RQ4849 sort of Aston Martins or Bentleys. Um, and they might come into play as well. But nothing over a super rare um, I've used throughout this. Uh, and, and as usual, you know, guys, I like to try and use um, the lowest sort of cars possible. So that's what I've done again. I try to, to mix it up and, um, you know, use the lower sort of cars. One or two cars did catch me off guard. Um, there is a little bit later on. You come up against the Ford Escort. It's the RQ29. It used to actually be RQ19. And it's in the wet. And it's on the mountain hairpin. And for some reason it demolished a standard tyre car on there. And it also demolished a much higher car on there. And I was like, what is going on with this? So... Yeah, I've used a little bit of a higher car against it again. But, like I said, overall, as long as you've got a good selection of old guard cars, I think you'll be okay with this challenge so far. Obviously, the next 10 races um, might be completely different and the game might just step up a little bit. I'd imagine the next 10 races will need to be using ultra rares but don't forget guys in this you need to have a minimum of three upgrades so each car has to have a minimum of three upgrades and that's all five cars so just be aware of that and you've got plenty of time so make sure you're building them if you see that you've got a car that you need to beat this challenge get it built you know don't rush you've got plenty of time uh, but work on getting them built now um, and like i said in the previous um old guard videos if you get an old guard save it even if it's a duplicate just for now even until the old guard challenges are over if you feel that it's going to become useful um then do save it stuff like the Scirocco, stuff like the alans stuff like the lotus elises they're all going to be um really strong cars and there is of course more rq to play with than I have used on some of these races because well, you know you know me guys I've said it just before I like to try and use a little RQ um, so <clears throat> there is actually enough RQ on some of them to put an epic in if you really really feel that you need to if you've got no other choice or a couple of ultras uh, but I kind of hope that you have got some of these saved and you know since the update came almost 50 days ago that you've you've been saving these cars for this challenge 
Now, like I said, this is the second Elite Challenge. Once we get to the third Elite Challenge, if you can get all three tokens, then you can actually go for your legendary prize car. Uh, because it works slightly different to the racer challenges. So if you're not so clued up on how these challenges are going to work, I'll let you know now. So the racer challenges are supposedly the easier ones to complete. After completing three racer challenges, our third one dropped today, which was the Japan one. If you're struggling on that, then the video is on my channel. Um, if you've struggled on... Uh, sorry, if you've already got the third token I haven't bothered as of yet because there's no uh, no new challenge that has opened but for three challenges we can win the Ford GT40 that is our first prize and that is for three tokens um, and then if you get five racer tokens we can then go into the challenge for either um, it's, it's for either the RQ78 Evo or it's the RQ, no, not 78, sorry, 87. It's the RQ87 Evo Legendary, uh, Evo 8, uh, which is the prize car um, Mitsubishi in the game. Or we can go for the RQ87 Audi S1, uh, which is a rally car. Um, and I think that will actually suit a lot of people's garages, of course. Uh, so th that that's your, your two choices, but... The elite ones are slightly different. So the, the way the elite ones are going to work is if you can beat three of the challenges and gain the tokens from them, then you can go into the challenge to win the same two prize cars. So that is, again, the Evo or the Audi. Um, but you only need three tokens for that. But the elite challenges, as we know, are a little bit tougher. Um, and then if you can beat all five elite challenges, you can go and win... The RQ93, I think it's McLaren GT3. Um, and also two random epics, I believe. That is the challenge for that. Of course, if you already own both of the legendaries that are available, then you can go and win. Uh, the RQ, uh, an RQ80 to 89 legendary, a random pack with a with a, one of them legendaries in. Uh, which could be good because there is some really good legendaries in there. Um, but it could also be pretty bad, especially if you manage to pull one of them RQ80s. Um, stuff like the Aldis and stuff like that. Um, so that is potluck, but you don't really have a choice. If you already own both of the prize cars, then you're going to get a free legendary either way. Uh, just be a random one between 80 and 89. If you own one of them, then you can pick the other one from the challenge. And then if you can beat the other challenges, then you can again pick uh, a random legendary. So I hope that kind of clears that up a little bit. Um, a lot of people are threatening over this, so to be fair, they're saying that it's a little bit too difficult. Um, I'm thankfully in a position where I've saved pretty much every old guard. Um, super rare and low. I'm missing maybe three super rares, and that's for the simple fact that I freed them up for upgrading uh, an epic during some of these finals. Because, of course, if they are legacy status, so if a car came from ultra rare down to super rare, then it was still classed as an ultra rare when it comes to fuse material. So I released some of them so that I could um, I, I could carry on building some epics. So while you're here, guys, if you do like my videos, please do drop a like and smash that subscribe button. Continue to follow me for more top drive videos. Um, if you wish to come and join in the conversation, come and join in our Discord. The link is down below in the description. Uh, plenty of people in there. Uh, plenty of conversation. And, uh, yeah, we have a laugh. Plenty of uh, top drive discussion. People out there build your garages, 
give you plenty of ideas so don't be shy come and join in say hello stick around um, and make yourself welcome and I also do have a patreon guys if you wish to become a patron I would be forever in your debt that is uh, one pound a month and it's just a little way of saying thank you you know for doing all the videos for all the time and effort I've put in for the gold I've had to put in um, over the over the years um, but any you know um, if you wish to do that the link is down below but I also do do um, a slightly higher rate at three pound which is for um, garage tours so if you wish for me to review a garage and help you build your garage decide what you want to do with it um, that is slightly higher and that would be a commitment I'd give to you by doing once a month at your convenience of course it has to work around my schedule and stuff as well um, but I would you know spend a bit of time with you get to know your garage work with you see what's best for you um, and I've done it for a few people and they're really happy with what I've done so if you wish to do that again the link is down below now we're right at the end of the video here guys so thank you for watching really appreciate your time have a great day wherever you are in the world and I'll catch you next time for another top drive video bye bye